Welcome back to Sonoran Living Live. We are in the kitchen with executive chef Cody Harris from Thirsty Lion at Tempe Marketplace. And in the first course, we did a delicious pomegranate spinach salad with a homemade vinaigrette. It's yum. With a macadamia crusted goat cheese. Now we are on to the entree. And you're making, again, macadamia nut mm -hmm. mahi mahi. And so many yeah. people don't order it because they think, I don't want to eat flipper. But right. you're saying it's, it's. It's from the dolphin family. They're like, right. they're like such distant cousins, they don't even know each other. <laughs> All right. So let's so how do we get started? We take so, a fresh, fresh piece of uh, mahi, wonderful uh, mahi mahi. It's so good they <laughs> named it twice, right? Um, we're just going to take it and we're going to put it in some flour that we've seasoned with some kosher salt and some black pepper. Make sure you get a good coating on it, or else your egg won't stick. And we're going to put it into just these are just some eggs that are beaten up, nothing mm -hmm. special. Then back into our macadamia nut. Breading. And that's a good. Yeah, that's and a once good, again, what, if you, eight ounces, twelve. 10 oh ounces? yeah, this is a six ounce cut of fish okay. right here. Um, once again, if you don't, if you're allergic to nuts, just use the panko with a little bit of salt. We're going to now put some olive oil in our nonstick pan, and then we're going to place our fish in there. We're going to get it going and browning on one side while we. Uh, okay. And you know, it's funny because I love any sort of seafood. I oh, am a yeah. big seafood person. It doesn't really matter what <laughs> type of fish or, or it, it's just delicious. And a lot of people, again, some are, there are allergies out there, right. so you have to be careful. But this is delicious. While our mahi's cooking, we serve it with a couple things. We serve it with a sticky rice, and we also serve it with some Asian style vegetables, which is bok choy, zucchini, squash, red peppers, and carrots. We start with a little bit of sesame oil. Do you find people like the lighter fare? They do. Sometimes. During the holidays, they want nothing but meat. But right. now that we're after the holidays and the gyms are <laughs> filling up and holidays. everything else, right. then it up. works. But we're just going to go ahead and toss those vegetables right into the pan. And you don't want to overcook these too much. Just give them a little bit of a toss. You still want the bok choy to be nice and crisp. Mm -hmm. You don't want it all wilted. Mm -hmm. um, we just go ahead and we got a little bit of sweet chili Thai sauce here that we're just going to... Squeeze a little bit on top for flavor. Do you think we overcook our veggies a lot? I think sometimes people do. They yeah. don't let the natural part of the vegetable come out, the, the crispness of them. Mm -hmm. Not to where it's hard or anything right, like that. Right. So, But yeah, this is sauteing up real nice. And then we're just going to, this is a little bit of ginger soy sauce. Just to, just a dash to give the vegetables some flavor. It looks like my mahi needs some help over here. Yeah, uh -oh. you have to crank up the heat. Right, exactly. Wait, okay, it, it looks up. like the eye. Maybe you yeah. threw in the wrong eye. I don't That's know. That's all right. I've got a backup, so we're all good. <laughs> but let, just let those vegetables start cooking. And over here, we're going to start our plating. Um, all right, we this, got it. We got it. We got to start out. Yeah, <laughs> you got to get a close-up of this. Okay. This is very cool. You go into restaurants and you see, oh, how do they get that to stay like that? How do they get that to do that? Well, we've just cooked some sticky rice in a rice cooker. And we put some saran wrap around a coffee cup. And... All you have to do is place it on the plate and let it go. And ta da! It looks like, it looks like the chef I came to your house we were like, and did Why it. do you have saran wrap exactly, around the rice? Exactly. Well, that is a very cool trick. And we can do this at home so you can look really oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Like exactly. Have people over there like, wow, how'd you do that? Yeah, so, great. so we're going to finish up by painting the plate. That's what we call it when we're cooking, is we're painting the plate. I've uh, made up a little bit of a white wine uh, butter sauce that has a few little herbs in it, some thyme, some rosemary, and some Italian parsley. And we're just going to paint that onto the plate right here. And then I have a little bit of passion fruit puree, still going towards the citrusy the sweets, notes. Yeah. This passion fruit is once again a wintery fruit. Okay. So we've just juiced a passion fruit, and we're just going to pour a little sprinkle over the top of that. And then to bring it in with our veggies over here, a little bit more of the sweet chai sweet Thai chili sauce. Now, should, yeah. we, should we keep our, you, you were saying earlier, the pomegranate and other winter right. fruit. Right. So we really should kind of cater our, our meals to the season. Right. Well, I, fresh is great. Fresh right. is always great. So that's why we try and offer our seasonal fresh sheets that offer something that is in season right. and that we're not buying from South America or whatot. But the mahi looks like it's almost yes, time to Yes, and it doesn't only look uh -oh. good, it smells good. There we go. <laughs> so this goes straight into the oven. And you just got a brown, yep. so you just got a quick About, brown on both right. sides. Just a little quick brown. And then we're going to pull out our other plate. And you're always, and you're always my prepared. <laughs> and if you don't like mahi, you were saying the Thirsty Lion really has a variety. Oh, a variety of, of everything, whether of it be fish or anything else. So we're just going to take our mahi and we're going to prop it right up against the rice like that. That's so delicious. We're going to add our little bit of our Asian vegetable to the top here. Still and nice and crisp. Beautiful. And you kept the crisp. You, yeah. you really kept, kept the, the crispness crisp of it. Crispness. And then we just took some of our curly green onions. 
which actually you just cut lengthwise with a knife and then soak them in ice water. And that's what makes them curl. Mm -hmm. And You're that's what makes so them great curl. I know. From the You're rice mouth to, to the curly onion. I know. I know. We, could, we could paint our own plate. So yeah, well, so that that's our mahi mahi. Oh, and she brought some forks. So, all right, I'm going to have to. Yeah. I'm gonna, I know. I, I know. It, it looks delicious. I'm going to have to take a bite. And, and I want to get some of the sauce, too, because it's mm, so delicious. Now eat your veggies. I've got to eat my veggies as well. So delicious. And coming up, we've done the salad, we've done the mm -hmm. entree, and we're going to do a creme brulee with fresh, fresh berries. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Dessert is coming up. 